Hi, chemistry teachers. The purpose of this video is to show you how I create digital card sorts for my students. Um, so let's get started. So this is a digital card sort that I made for my kids this week. We are covering types of mixtures. And so these are the different cards that the students can sort. And then I also have descriptions as well. Um, you'll notice there are parts of this card sort that are not editable. So for example, my Bitmoji can't be moved and this text can't be edited. So no matter how much I click on this stuff, this stuff is not moving. So I'm going to show you how to do all of this stuff. So the first thing you want to do is start with a Google Slides presentation. You want to check to make sure that the slide size is appropriate. So the page um, setup feature in Google Slides says that the um, ratio is 16 to 9. To create the actual cards and the background, I use PowerPoint. So I'm going to pull up my PowerPoint um, to check to make sure that the background size or the slide size of PowerPoint matches. You're going to go to design and then slide size. And again, this is also the ratio of 16 to 9. Um, once you have your background already created and you've got all of the directions and all the things that you want, you have to save your background. So you're going to go to File, Save As, and then just to make my life a little bit easier as I talk to you guys, I am going to save it to the desktop. However, you do not want to save it as a PowerPoint presentation. You want to save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to go to JPEG, and then I'm going to click Save. When you click save, a prompt is going to come up. You want to select just this one slide. And then that should be saved to your desktop as a picture. To create the actual cards that I have, um, I just really make them using the insert shape feature in PowerPoint. So you would go to, for example, shapes, and you would click whatever shape you want. I tend to use the rounded edges one. So you can just click, and then you can edit your text. So, for example, this would be your sample text. And then, um, and then, yeah, and then what you have to do is you have to save the actual card um, as a picture. So you're going to right-click on the card and click Save as Picture. And then when you do that, again, I'm going to save this to my desktop to make my life easier, but I'm just going to type in sample card for the name. And then you can leave it as a PNG if you want, or if you like JPEGs better, you can do a JPEG. It really doesn't matter. Now I'm going to minimize this, and then I'll show you how to import this into Google Slides. So what you want to do is to import the background, you're going to right-click, and you're going to go to Change Background. You are going to choose an image. Now to choose an image, this is why I saved as a background, you're just going to simply click on the background and drag it in. And then once you do that, you can see that, oh my gosh, there it is. It looks perfect. It looks great. So notice this is the part that, again, can't be editable. So any directions and stuff, I would just create a background image for your students. To import the actual cards is even simpler. All you have to do is make sure kind of you have your screen kind of split up like this. You go to the card and you just click and you drag it in. And then there is your card. Very simple. And you can organize the cards for your students and then they are ready to go. And so that is pretty much it. That's how I create digital card sorts for my students. Um, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Good luck.